closets are also insulated. Usually you always put your, your closets between the beds so that you've got a closet wall, um, dividing wall between the rooms, and then another closet wall, which helps a lot of the sound to dissipate. So sound is one of the things we think about in our remodeling. Mm -hmm. So, sure is more than just a room addition. Yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> outdoor living is already yes. looking good. This is looking good. Nice. We got a gas line in here. Mm -hmm. It's all pre-plumbed for it. It really is going to be like his oasis for oh, yeah, family. Is... Yeah. So the room addition is looking just like it was always here. So they're already using the patio, the cook area, the barbecue pits going in. Mm -hmm and bars ready to be used. So they're already using this, enjoying it. We're still doing wiring, of course, and so forth, touch-ups. But what we also want to see is what's going on inside. So let's go inside and see the cabinets being set in the kitchen. Hey, guys. Hello. It's nice to see you all without your masks on. Nice to see you all too. <laughs> How y'all doing? Good. Awesome. How's everything? We're glad to see the kitchen coming together. Wow. How much more left on here? Uh, just trim out doors, drawers, and... Cabinets uh, are done, right? Yep, cabinets yeah. are done. It's fun wow. putting in eight-foot cabinets, isn't it? Yeah, that's nothing bad. <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> not much extra room. Right. Yeah, so this turned out really nice. I mean, look at look at the the, the tightness of all of this. Yeah. That is, great, huh? that is great. It looks perfect. You are the best. Glad you like it. It <laughs> looks perfect. I like the little shins, just getting it absolutely perfect. There's no other My way to goodness. do cabinets, but perfect, right? That's the only way. <laughs> I mean, even the, even the corners here look where you got that right up against that. I know, that's why they it did my cabinets. It takes a lot of layout to, to get this right. I don't think I could do it anymore. <laughs> it takes a, a lot of patience, I don't think the clients right? want him to. A lot of patience. Yeah, that's a, that's a usable shelving mm. unit there, corner shelving unit, comes out came out really nice guys and all the the tolerances and clearances up there are all going to be it's trimmed perfect. out really nice yeah so what do we have left bathrooms bathrooms uh yeah that's it and then you call it a day yes sir all right wow. good job the space is huge yeah let's go yeah i know the opening once we open this up where was it to so like much... here before no it was right here so before this, okay so this, this kitchen stopped right here this was the end of the kitchen and the living room and everything was the end of the house was here. Now we've, we've expanded part of it, but we've also taken part of it for the master suite. But because, I mean, it really felt like it was way over here. Yeah, so it was. Small. It was, it it was felt, pushed way over. You didn't yeah. have this kind of room. You don't have that bar top, which is, which is going to overhang so nicely now. Yeah. And be able to give you so much entertaining space along with all of the living room expanded. Mm -hmm. What a big difference. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go into the bathroom and see, see what's going on in here. So I like the way they've kept all the boxes real neat, all the cabinets, put them all away and then they'll put them, throw them in the trash trailer. <laughs> Pocket doors have been set, the sheetrock, the texture's been done since the last video, right? Mm -hmm. All of that's oh, yeah. been done. Did never, see the, never saw the color. And you can see we have a zero clearance threshold here so that it will slope down and it will be no no curb at all. Curbless entry yeah. on this th threshold to the shower. So they'll be able to stay in the house forever then. That's right. It, and look how Never spacious. Have to worry. Look how spacious that shower is. It's going to be so nice. So the reason we have this up still is because of the Dura Rock or the Hardy Backer is actually going to go in there and fill this void. Mm -hmm. So you still put insulation in a shower? Yeah, for sound, just to, to absorb some sound. A lot of people don't, but we do. We do those interior walls. Anytime we're in a bathroom area, we try to insulate it from the bedroom and from the private areas, the uh, public areas of the home. Yeah. We also do that when we have a bedroom next to a bedroom or a bathroom next to another bedroom. Mm -hmm. Bedroom to bedroom walls are also insulated. Usually you always put your, your closets between the beds so that you've got a closet wall, um, dividing wall between the rooms, and then another closet wall, which helps a lot of the sound to dissipate. So sound is one of the things we think about in our remodeling. Mm -hmm. Insulation helps, but layout is even bigger on dealing with sound and noise issues. And then this is Cece's closet. 
That's a <laughs> nice big closet, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. I'm jealous. This is a big <laughs> closet. You thought yours was big. I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the next time we come, we'll be, we'll be probably done with painting and it'll probably be the last video. All the it's moved along a lot faster than I thought for such a huge project. Yeah, you know, so I'm impressed. Front and back, it all looks like it belongs now, whether you go yeah. from the front or the back. And what a patio, huh? Mm -hmm. This is a big room addition. Yeah. So we'll have to show show it from the front. Yep. Okay. Well, we'll see y'all next time.